Yo, today it's time to determine which dinosaurs I can beat in a fight and which will absolutely destroy me. For a little background, I'm about 6'2 male, I got a decent arm span, I'm 180 pounds, I've been in a good share of brawls just growing up in like a city. I lost about 80% of those fights though because people fight in groups, but like getting my ass kicked that much has given me an understanding of what the human body's capable of. This is probably the worst beating I've ever taken, I was like 18 or 19, so I have a decent understanding of what people could do. That being said, I am a freaking warrior and I'm confident most of these dinosaurs, at least some, I don't know, let's get into it. All right, we're gonna be using Dinosaurs, a Jurassic Park size comparison by Filmcore because it shows a realistic example next to an average adult grown man. Uh. Burp, disgusting. It's the coffee and pre-workout is what it is. All right, so this is me as us, is that guy, right? First on the list, the compi. This, what, 30 centimeters to two inches? No, to 12 inches. Yeah, things a foot tall. I could probably stomp about 50 of those, but realistically, in a 1v1, I'm going to defeat it. That's just not even a question, but we got to go through the list. Uh, it, it's, it's like a, a vicious toddler, bro. This is where things start to get stinky. Okay, realistically, realistically. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta visualize myself going up against it. Okay, 1.2 meters to four feet tall. I'm, I'm six foot two, it's, it'd be about right here. But it's got some vicious teeth, dude. The issue with the Dilophosaurus is the venom it spits. It get, if it gets, like, you're not gonna be able to really block it that well. No matter what, it's gonna get on you. And it's not just, like, stinky. It's like a deadly neurotoxin that will destroy your eyeballs and anything it touches. So it's not like, if you, if you block your eyes, it's gonna weld it to your face with its disgusting venom crap. Ah, what is that? I, you know what? I feel like it only defeated Nedry because Nedry was, let's just, not the most physically active fella. Plus he was sitting down. He got it spit all over his eyes. I feel like I could kill this lizard. Its claws and feet would definitely do some detrimental scratching if I could avoid its feet claws and just kind of get its neck and just kind of just King Kong rip its jaws apart we are primates essentially it would be tough i would be injured i'd be near death hospitalized most likely some exposed guts from like from like its feet claws scratching at my belly perhaps but that dirty bastard would die given i could block the initial venom spit who's next on the list who wants the next ass whooping uh, that morphodons get 6.6 .6 feet tall hang on what okay the one chris pratt fought wasn't even that but i guess the teeth the, the teeth are insane though the teeth is the issue but the creature itself possesses probably little to no strength once you're able to grab it it's mostly just it grabs and rips and tears the teeth if you could just get a hold you just got to be a professional because it's going to die bomb at you but the actual creature itself has little to no muscle mass most of its size is just an elongated tail which is virtually useless in a battle it's just the face it's just a big chomping face but if you could manage to wrangle that face, you know what I'm saying? Get, get a hold of that face. The creature itself is completely defenseless. It's got no strength, no nothing. Could I kill it or could it kill me? If it gets, if it even launches one little tooth, a loose tooth anything into your neck, it's gonna pull back and it's gonna expose most likely possibly a jugular or something of detrimental value, but it's its head, like I have a long wingspan. If it dives on top of me, I just grab its body, its face, face is gonna be clacking right here. Then you just gotta kind of wrangle it down and then, then you got yourself. I guess just realistically, just, just wail on its, I hit my headphones, wail on its neck or something until it stops breathing you gotta go like in touch with your inner chimpanzee start wailing on it you know what i'm saying but yes i could kill a dimorphodon for sure hang on dude it says a dimorphodon weighs one to se oh wait does that say one to 71 pounds or one to seven lbs which is pounds like that's what it's seven pounds seven pounds never mind dude i would kill the crap out of it. it'd be like killing a really sharp a sharp kite seven pounds <laughs> that's that's what i think about the word seven well son of a I don't think I can kill a Velociraptor for God's sakes. I'm, I'm a look at the size, the size difference between those two. Like absolutely no chance. Even if you took away its deadly claws, feet claws, everything, the creature, its its mouth, it would kill you with its mouth. It's way too big, dude. I think humans now, I, like I shouldn't necessarily have to go in there barehanded every time. We our evolutionary trait is we evolved the brain capable of coming up with other ways to fight battles. I think realistically, if I even had somewhat of a Spartan sword, which is what this pretty much is. It's insanely sharp. I think this, if it, if it, if it comes at me, you know what I'm saying? I think you either have one good swish, but if you miss, you're gonna die. I think, I think it's best to just keep it centered towards, because when he comes at you, you're gonna want to just kind of push it forward. You know what I'm saying? So if by all means I get a, I get a weapon also, since it gets its mouth and claws, then perhaps, perhaps, <laughs> you know, 330 pounds. <sighs> That's a big fella. You really got to be skilled with the sword. What's next? I feel like they're just gonna get bigger and more difficult. Well, I mean, everything I said for the male pretty much goes for the female, but a little worse, because they're scarier. 
All right, now this is an interesting 1,000 pounds. Those weigh 1,000 pounds? Jesus Christ. All right, Johnny, think about it. <laughs> What's the game plan here? I think I die. Realistically, I think I die. It's 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 probably got such an armored back hide, armored everything about it. You'd have to get it in the neck necessarily. But that thing charges at you. If it makes contact, you die. Like you're dead for sure. My only hope would be look at the size of it though. How little is that guy? That thing's only six feet. That's a little fella. <laughs> like the human. Dr. Grant and this is a little fella. Okay, so it's a little under my height. This makes it look like a monster. It's a, it's about right to here on me. And then if it's charging, yeah, your chest cavity is going to explode. You're going to die like Houdini from a crazy punch to the chest. But if you could dodge it, because it's got to wind it up. It's got to wind, it's got to back up and it gives you a little bit of a warning. You just got to really get the hell out of there. There's a chance. I'm calling it like a five to 10% chance. I could just time it and then get it in the neck, dude, for sure. All right, who's next on the list? Who wants to die? Honestly, this is an interesting one right here. 20, wait, 26 feet long, 6.6 .6 feet high. A Gallimimus. It's got to be like going up against an insanely aggressive ostrich, right? Okay, it's four inches taller than me, but it's it's really only got its pecker. Like, all jokes aside, it could just peck me. It'd be some vicious pecking if that gets me in the face anywhere. <sighs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. I think barehanded it'd kill me for sure. I have no way to really kill the creature. You're not gonna be able to choke it out with that crazy neck. Like, or I can't really think of a single way I could kill this creature barehanded. It's gonna be such thick, muscular hide, everything about it. You could punch it through your hand breaks. It wouldn't do anything detrimental. If you have a sword, though, if you have a sword, you can kind of time it when it comes to, yeah, 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 yeah. A person my size with my, yeah, absolutely, with a good sword could kill a, could kill a galley. If you have a good sword, I believe it's possible since this thing's not necessarily loaded with raptor claws. I'm gonna give me a 10% chance of success on this one. What's next? What next in this part could I kill? I don't know, man. I think it could be done, but... It could be, but you put your own life at risk like crazy. The Anki? Well, that one's just gonna kill me on the next one. The Pteranodon, though. What they do, what they did in Jurassic Park 3, they pick you up for the most part to carry you. That's when you have a perfect shot at their stomach, I guess. Or you could, like, climb up them and... It's another one. There's no way you could kill it without a sword because it's too tough and everything. Its face is like, maybe you could... Try and choke it out, but I don't know, dude. Where do you even choke? It's like the biggest neck on the planet. You know what I'm saying? I guess it could be done. Like, if you really got your hands in there, but a sword would help. But yeah, if they don't eat you, they're gonna carry you to their young, which is when they're holding you in their feet, they're just so exposed. But then, of course, if you stab it in the stomach, it's gonna drop you to your death also. So you could kill it, but it's a self-sacrifice moment. Uh, it only weighs 55 pounds. How the hell is it picking me up? It's not gonna pick me up. It's not gonna pick me up at all. It doesn't even make any sense. What? Yeah, the Anki decimates me. I don't see it happening. There's 12,000 or 12,000 pounds. <laughs> no, that doesn't even seem accurate. Sukumibus kills the crap out of us. Obviously, I am a mortal. I am a mortal man. If that thing actually weighs 11,000 pounds, even if it doesn't, it weighs 1,000 pounds. Okay, the Indoraptor will kill me, obviously. I've seen the movie, it's bulletproof. <laughs> Probably smarter than me. Speaks more languages than I do. What's next? You know what, if you feed the Triceratops the wrong kind of vegetation, it'll die. It worked pretty efficiently in Jurassic Park. But in combat, I just don't see it happening. Baryonyx, I'm gonna put me at a thin chance of 0% chance of success. Only weighs 3,400 pounds. That's enough to just launch you, Johnny. It just doesn't sound that much next to the others. 1.7 tons. Yeah, the Carno probably kill us as well, too. I, I'm, I'm starting to think that nothing else on this list will be able to be killed by me. Allosaurus? No. Probably not. Do I have a 50 cal Barret sniper? I suppose this has just been a melee competition this whole time. Stegosauruses are so confusing. Sometimes they're small, sometimes they're giant. It just depends which Jurassic Park movie you're watching. Can the T-Rex be a newborn baby? Because then there's a chance I can defeat that little fart. An adult? I don't see it happening. Does the next thing get magically really small and I'll have a chance against it? Oh, God damn it! Wow, they have changed the Spino so much over the years. The Spino would decimate me, obviously. What am I, Hercules? I'm starting to think everything else on the list would just kill us. I'm getting a creeping suspicion. Well, yeah. <laughs> we don't even know how much it weighs. 
They just scaled it out. And this was just like a teen in the movie, right? It wasn't even an adult. That's gotta be the last one in there. What else could possibly be in there? What is that? Honestly, there's a chance I could kill this one. There's a chance I could kill the Bracky. You climb up that tail, you know what I'm saying? Start stabbing at the neck, there's a chance. You could get up the side of it with a couple daggers, climb it like, you know what I'm saying? Like some Assassin's Creed type stuff. It sounds like unrealistic nonsense that I'm spouting right now, but you gotta admit, the math is there. It's possible, like what's it gonna do? I guess if it tail swipes you, then you launch off it and die pretty quick. It's gotta be a complete sneak attack. Or you just wait on a tree and then jump onto it with knives. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen any evidence that shows this couldn't work out the way I wanted to. Oop, if it does that, perhaps. No, cause I'm all, I'm, I'm like gripped on with my blades on the side of its neck, you know what I'm saying? Like realistically, you wouldn't have the skills and drive to do it, but like if your baby son was up on top of its head and you had to kill it or else it, you know what I'm saying? Then there's a chance you could do it. You get that crazy picking a car up off your loved ones like uh, adrenaline that humans could get and you just decimate that beast. It's it's possible. Well, those are Jurassic Park dinosaurs. I could beat in a fight. If you guys have any arguing to say down below, any points I forgot, make sure to comment them. Leave a like, subscribe, check out Filmcore obviously too for this amazing size comparison and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>